Howdy guys, in today's mini series we're going to be looking at our main toolbar again and the features print versus rip and print. And this will be done within Flexi Print. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise we're heading to the program here. We're going to carry on with our uh, main toolbar on top here, the mini series on it. Previously we looked at these uh, five features in front so new, open, save, import, export. Now we're finally getting to the print and rip and print. So we're just going to be looking at the main differences. We're not going to go into depth on these features just yet. We'll maybe do a mini series because there's quite a lot to cover. So the first one we have here is print. Now with my design open, if I go here to print, this will pretty much just open up our classic printer. It's just telling me my orientation. That's not correct. So I'm going to say, okay. Now this is like if you've done any normal printing, you'll understand most of these settings. So we've got here, yeah, we can even save this to or print this to a PDF and so forth. So if you're not doing any proper printing through a vinyl cutter or anything like that, this will be the printing you'll be using. We've got some nice features where you can use selection only or add stuff like guides and grids and so forth. But most of these things you should understand quite easily. So that is our print. This will be using some local printer, basic printer, nothing too special. Now the next option you will have is the rip and print. Now this is, let's say you've got a vinyl cutter printer set up. And then what this will do, it will communicate between the printer and the program. And then you can make nice custom adjustments and do the printing and ripping. So I'm just going to click this for now. It's going to ask you which kind of printer, where is it located? Is it local on this computer, network or internet address? I'm just going to say this computer I currently don't have one set up but you'll be able to see all the features or most of the features required just wait for that to load it should open our production manager as well so in the background it's open this is just in the actual flexi print we've got our features here and then we've got the production manager over here I'm gonna go back to flexi print now we've done a mini series on the basics of this. We're still going to create one on advanced. So if you want to do advanced printing, you'll go through this. But the general rule is the difference between print and rip and print. Like I said, the print will use like a local printer that is maybe just like a normal uh, printer where if you want something like a more advanced industrial type vinyl and print, this will be the rip and print. And what the rip will do is it will transform all the information on this design to uh, be relevant and compatible with the actual printer. So if we've got vector designs and images and all of that, it will convert it, make the vectors into a raster that's uh, relevant to the size of the printer. And then we can adjust all these properties to set it up more customly. It will also turn your RGB colors to actual CMYK so it's more accurate. Now, obviously we have different sending. I'm just got mine here on holding list. So if I remove this one, so hold one, say yes. And then at the moment, mine is set on holding list. So when I click send, it's gonna send it to our production manager just in holding. Otherwise it's gonna start printing and all of that. Now, when you're ready, you can simply just click rip. And then as you can see here with the status, it's showing us here that it is busy ripping it how far it is so like i said this will convert all the colors and the vectors and all of that so it is uh, compatible with your actual printer but yeah otherwise that is it on the two differences on the rip and print and print and uh, it will be handy this is obviously a very important feature because i mean this is part of flexi print is the print side so we'll definitely go into more depth on these and how to competently use them but yeah, otherwise, in the meanwhile, before we carry on with this toolbar, if we head here to softwaretraining.co.za, you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover, and you can also isolate your search on the top right. If you do not, however, find the training videos you're looking for, just simply go here, request a training video, fill in the mini form, and then we'll do our best to try and make that for you. 
But otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers.